Hello everyone, welcome to our first segment of Impulse Cooking. Today's segment is our very first Impulser Challenge, where one of our viewers provides three random items from their refrigerator, and I try to make res a recipe from those ingredients. So let's get started. So today's ingredients are eggs, Corona, and butter. And today's Impulser Challenge comes from Claudia W. So today we're going to make a Corona trifle using Corona, butter, and eggs. So you're going to need a cup and a half of flour. half a tablespoon of baking powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one stick or one cup of butter, one whole cup of sugar, two eggs, A fourth of a cup of milk and a fourth of a cup of Corona and vanilla extract about one teaspoon and the zest of one lime first you're going to need your bowl and you're going to add flour to the bowl Then your salt, oh, the rest of the flour. <laughs> then your salt. And your baking powder. And we're going to just mix that together and incorporate those ingredients. In a separate bowl, we're going to cream the butter. The butter is supposed to be at room temperature, but we're impulse cookers. Next, Add your, your sugar. Next, we're going to add one or two egg yolks, one at a time. Next, we're going to open the bottle of Corona and pour the one fourth of Corona and combine it with that one fourth cup of milk. There we go. Next, we're going to take a sip of the Corona and hope this recipe works. Here comes the tricky part. We're going to combine a quarter, a third of the flour to the butter and sugar mixture, and then half of the Corona milk mixture. Try not to spill another third of the flour mixture easy does it then the rest of the corona and milk mixture and finally add the rest of the flour Next, we'll add our vanilla extract. Mine is a vanilla extract bean paste, but you can use the, the thin, more liquidy kind if you would like. Now, the zest of the lime. And now we're going to add our egg whites. Now, I I decided to beat the egg whites off camera just to save a little time. 
you're supposed to slowly fold those eggs, egg whites, into the mixture. But because we're impulse cooker, we're just going to dump it all in. Once all the ingredients are fully incorporated, and we save that, all that delicious batter, we're going to go ahead and get ready to put it in the oven. Now because our, our cake is going to be part of a trifle, it doesn't have to be pretty, so we can just put parchment paper in the, in the pan. Now where are we going to make a cake and we're going to frost it, then we would have cut the parchment paper to size. To make sure it looks pretty. Now we're going to get ready to place the cake into the oven. Set your timer for 30 minutes and your oven at 350. Now we're going to make the cream cheese layer. You'll need a cream cheese and a stick of butter. Timing! The zest of one lime and more Corona. Five tablespoons of lime juice one and one cup, cup of sugar. Powder sugar. Using our mixer, hand mixer or a standing mixer, you're going to add the cream cheese, which is also supposed to be room temperature. One stick of butter, also room temperature. Five tablespoons of your lime, lime juice. Just made it. There we go. And the zest of your lime. And make sure that's mixed and incorporated very well. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of Corona. I tasted the batter or the mixture and I decided off camera to add more. About two tablespoons. Now your sugar, that one whole cup. Yep, slowly but surely so it doesn't clump. As I mentioned earlier, I tasted the, the cream uh, mixture and added more Corona. It just needed it. And here is our cake after 30 minutes. We're going to brush the top of our cake with the Corona. And I couldn't find my pastry brush, so I used my spatula instead. Don't judge me. Now that that's done, let's assemble our trifle. To put our trifle together, first we'll need to cut our cake into cubes or slices. It doesn't really matter how, how it looks because it's going to be layered and covered with whipped cream at the end, so it'll be beautiful, I promise. Next, we are going to grab our lemon curd. Um, you're going to only need a little drop. You don't have to have this. I just think it adds nice tang. Now our whipped cream. There I go, making a mess. And our cr cream cheese lime um, mixture that we made earlier. Now let's put her together. Get your decorative bowl or container. Place a layer of cake. Easy does it. Here we go. Next, our layer of cream cheese lime mixture. Place it right on top. Try not to get it on the sides. Um, you might want to pipe it into um, a Ziploc bag. That might make it a little bit easier and keep the sides a little cleaner. And then our lemon curd mixture. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way because it's pretty tart and strong. Now we'll do another layer of the cake. 
right on top. A little bit more. You can never have too much cake. And then we're going to add another layer of that cream cheese lime mixture right on top. And I promise you, it smells so good. Now we'll add another layer of that lemon curd. Once again, you don't have to add that in there if you don't want to. It's still, it'll still taste just as good. And now we're going to add one more layer of the cake. One more. There you go. Beautiful. And our whipped cream. <laughs> and just spray it right on top. Cover the cake up. And then add a lime wedge. And there you go. How, how cute is that? And well, that's it for today's segment. If you like this video, please subscribe. Also, if you have any impulse or challenges where you name three things in your refrigerator and I try to make a dish out of them, or recipe fails where you tried a recipe and it just didn't work out, send them to me and I might feature them in the next segment. Later, impulsers.